So here I have some really wonderful Sebago potatoes. Really creamy flavor, wonderful waxy texture, and that beautiful sweetness that comes out of these are incredible. So I'm gonna show you how I roast potatoes, because I love this the most. Yes, you can throw them in the oven, and I'll give you recipes for that as well. But in a pan with olive oil, roast it in that pan until they're crisp. I just don't think with lots of salt you can do better. So the most important tip with the potatoes, which I've just cooked for 15 minutes in salted boiling water, is don't salt them again in the pan. That's really important because it draws the moisture out and then it's hard for it to crisp up. In with some olive oil. And I'm sort of in a sense, you know, shallow frying, so it's quite a good whack of olive oil but then I'm going to get this incredible crispness around the outside of the potato, burst into that, and then you get that beautiful creaminess of the inside, which is fantastic. So just wait till your oil is really nice and hot, almost smoking, and then carefully place the potatoes in, making sure you don't burn yourself, really important. And then all we need to do is just allow these guys to fry away for about 10 to 15 minutes, turning every couple of minutes to get a beautiful, beautiful golden crust. And you'll see at the end how lovely and crispy they look. So here we are, getting nice and golden brown on that side, so just turning very carefully over. Again, this process is gonna take about 15 minutes. Get nice and golden brown. And super crispy. So these are looking perfect, nice and crispy on the outside and they're going to have a nice thin skin, it's crisp and you'll get a beautiful creaminess um, inside, the texture will be fantastic. So just straight in to some kitchen paper and then the most important thing the most important thing is a really good seasoning. So I use fine flake salts, either sea salts or pink salts. And if you think you put enough on, put some more and it'll be really super delicious. And then all you need to do is just plate up and serve these next to a beautiful piece of roast chicken or a gorgeous piece of barbecue fish. Anything really uh, with a salad, with boiled greens, and uh, a, a gorgeous protein, and you're gonna have a fantastic meal for the family. So plenty of salt on roast potatoes, it really is their friend, and right now, that's great, but if you wanna put some olive oil or some butter on it, it'll also add another dimension of flavor. It's up to you.